Hi and welcome to this very special video where today we're going to be making the Weight Watchers Lemon Baked Oats. Now this is the recipe from Weight Watchers. Uh, the recipe we're making today serves for, it's vegetarian um, and it's only two points. So if you're on Weight Watchers it's just two points. Um, also it's gluten free and dairy free as well so I can actually have it this is why I'm so excited about this recipe so we are now going to make the baked lemon oats um, I'm hoping it's going to be like a cookie I'm really excited to be honest with you um, so first of all preheat the oven to 160 degrees if it's a fan one 180 if not or guess mark four then put it into a large container 47 ml of almond milk so let's get our unsweetened almond milk hi Maddie welcome to the live video and I'm just going to pour in about 75 ml so that's 75 ml of the unsweetened almond milk Maddie Vic and Eleanor are watching oh hi guys I've got the full team Woohoo! we're gonna have some lemon cookies today um, so what we're gonna do now is pour in that almond milk into my container so then next up we need to add is 50 grams of oats so I'm just gonna weigh my oats over here it's the Narin's Scottish gluten-free oats. So I'm just going to measure out 50 grams. Oh, this is a bit. It's a lot of oats. Nearly there. Right, 50 grams. So there is 50 grams of gluten-free oats. And I'm going to add that to the almond milk. Ta-da! Next, we need to add one beaten egg. So I'm going to get my one egg out here. Just bang that in. So one egg beaten. I should really be wearing my apron, shouldn't I, Maury? So I'm just beating my egg now. Uh, Debbie, soon you'll have your own cooking show. Yeah, I hope so, Debs. It's cooking with Jodie. <laughs> it's going to have to be condign with me, isn't it? That's the uh, the ultimate aim. So there we have a uh, beaten egg. And we're going to add that to the oats and the almond milk. So that's all added in there together. Uh, next, one tablespoon of sweetener. Now, really important here, guys, if you are trying to lose weight, it does need to be a sweetener. Um, for instance, something like this stevia, which is the natural uh, sweetener. Um, if you're not trying to lose weight, then use real sugar, like coconut sugar or another sugar that you can use. If you're a diabetic, you definitely need to be having sweetener. So I'm just gonna put a tablespoon and a little bit. <laughs> You know, with my cooking experience over the last few weeks, I've learned to just put an extra little bit of sweetener in just to make sure it does taste lovely and sweet. Uh, the next thing is the juice and half the zest of a lemon. Now this is where it gets interesting, guys, to see whether I can do this on camera. First of all, it's really important. These are the only side lemons I could find in the supermarket. They're quite small, so I'm gonna use two. I'm just gonna wash them first because they can be wax, so. I'm just going off camera a minute while I'm washing my lemons. And obviously what you need is the zest. So what I've got here is my grater. And I'm just going to literally grate the zest off. Oh God, this one's really hard. Either that or my grater stopped working. Oh, it's just hard. <laughs> oh, hi Linda, welcome to the live video. So yes, we are making today lemon baked oats by Weight Watchers. Welcome everybody. Oh, there we go. That's the right sun sound we're looking for. Claire's here. Hi, Duck. <laughs> Claire loves the Northern accent, if you're wondering why she uh, is saying duck all the time. 
She's just a wannabe northerner, to be honest with you, even though she lives in the depth of East London. We accept all here on uh, Facebook Live. <laughs> so, I'm just getting the zest off. I just don't really like that green bit. It doesn't look right. I might, I might try. I'll have a little bit of that. Zest it up. Okay, let's do the other one. It's amazing how light they feel when you take the zest off. Isn't it amazing how lovely and brown I look after the day in the sun yesterday? It was lovely and warm, me and Claire. Claire got a little bit burnt, to be honest with you. But I had my Ye Faithful hat on. Uh, yes, Claire, I did see your private message. Congratulations. Claire's now in university. Woohoo! She was accepted. <laughs> She's going to be a doctor. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, right, so we're nearly there with that. Aisha's here. Victoria is here. Welcome, guys, to the live video. If you're wondering what the hell I'm doing, I'm not uh, soaring something. I'm getting the zest of this lemon, this small lemon. Just getting the zest ready for my baked cookies. I'm nearly there. I know it's a horrible sound. Try and ignore the sound. There we go, that's enough. So when I open up my grater, I have this lovely lemon zest. Wow. So then what I need to do is obviously then get the juice. So I'm gonna get my chopping board and my large knife. I'm going to chop the lemons and just squeeze the juice into this cup. So I'm just squeezing my lemons to get the lemon juice out. Oh. I haven't got a juicer either, guys, so. A bit of manual labor going on right now. I'll just get the other one. So it is one lemon, but because I've only got small lemons from the supermarket, they actually look like limes. We used to have this problem in Egypt. People used to ask for a lemon and they used to bring these little green things which were clearly limes. I don't think there's a big difference to be honest with you. I don't think there's a, a flavour difference. If there is a lemon lime expert watching, please feel free to tell us the difference between a lemon and a lime, apart from the colour. Right, so I've now manually squozen that. I just need to wash my hands one second. Okay, so hands are washed. So we're now gonna add to our mixture. Oh, Maureen's here, hi Maureen. I know I haven't got my pinny on, I should do. Um, so we're now gonna add to our mixture the lemon juice. There we go, the juice of one lemon. And then we're gonna add half the zest. So if you have a look at the zest there, I'm just gonna add half that. Because the other half we're gonna use to decorate the cookies when they come out. Now I'm going to stir this up now, so I'll get my wooden spoon. So in here, just a reminder of what we've got in here, we've got the oats, the almond milk, the egg and the sweetener and also the lemon. So the lemon juice and the lemon zest. And what it then recommends to do is to pour this mixture, let me read it exactly how it says, divide the mixture between four holes of a silicon cup cake tray. Now I don't have a silicon cup cake tray so what I'm going to do is just put it in my baking dish <laughs> and make it into one giant cookie but just remember you do need to divide it between four. This is a four person uh, recipe. Uh, Maureen, yahoo! All lemony tonight. Yes, I'm even wearing the lemon colours just for you. <laughs> oh, welcome Kay, welcome Glow to the live video. So this is a lovely consistency now. Now, of course, this needs to then be baked. So I'm going to put it in my tray and I'm going to bake it. Now I have a little surprise. I have prepared something earlier. So when I put this in the oven, there will be one that's already ready. Hi, Gloria. Gloria, you'll be wishing you're around my ass tonight for these lovely baked lemon cookies. Right, so that mixture is nice and mixed. 
<laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. So I'm just going to pop it, as it said, a silicon cupcake is the best thing, but I'm just going to put it in my baking tray here. There we go. Just get all the mixture in there and then just ram that in the oven. So I'm now going to pop it in the oven and then I'm going to get out one that I made earlier. <laughs> so. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, it looks lovely. So this, everybody, is what I cooked up this afternoon before my class. So it looks like this. Okay, and then what you have to do is obviously get it out here and then it says to put it on a, let me tell you, bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until set and golden. Does that look set and golden? Yes, it does. Um, remove from the oven and turn out on a cooling rack. Decorate with the remaining zest. Now, sadly, I do not have a cooling rack. So I will tip out onto a uh, tip out onto a plate. Now, obviously, when you have a silic special silicon thing, let me just taste it. Oh, it's really hot. Oh, it's really hot and lemony. Um, set and golden. I'm not sure whether it's set. Let me get it out onto a plate, and we'll have a look. Obviously with all these recipes, it doesn't taste that sweet. So I'm glad that when I made the second one, I added an extra little bit of sweetness. Obviously when you're using stevia sweetener, it's not going to add any more uh, calories, so it shouldn't affect the points. Oh no guys, that definitely needs a little bit more in the oven. Can you see that? Because it's still a bit like porridge underneath. So just imagine what you would then do is just add a little bit of zesty on the top and I'm tasting it actually tastes really really nice. So what I'm going to do guys, just visualise that baked another 5-10 uh, minutes in the oven and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to post a little photo. So that was my lovely lemon baked oats, if you would like a copy then I will post the recipe here on this video when we finish. Thank you for joining us today um, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you guys. Bye.